Now, let's talk about gold. Let's talk about uh, the metals market and the aspect of the correlation between the metals market, gold in particular, uh, the U.S. dollar. And, you know, my take, folks, is that the bottom line is we have a commodity bull that's in the making here. And what I want to run through with you is, you know, you're waking up in the morning, and what I want to run through with you is if you like the gold market, how you can get a lot of edges that can help you tremendously, particularly if you're intraday trading gold. And so I'm going to walk you through in the morning exactly what I do looking at this market, because you got to remember something. Um, with all these broker dealers, you can start basically trading at 7 o'clock in the morning. 7 o'clock in the morning, the market opens at 9, I understand 9.30, but the bottom line is if you're trading the GDX, uh, you can start trading that at 7 o'clock in the morning. So, as we do this, the first thing that I do in the morning, so let, let's say we look at the gold contract. This is, today is a perfect day how this is set up also, folks. The reason being, we get over and first look at the gold contract. So you wake up in the morning, we bring this up, and... As I, as, as I take a look at this, of course, you have gold right now up $13. Well, what we want to do is that you're going to go, I'm going to start this right at 7 o'clock in the morning, okay? So you're going to go back to 7 o'clock in the morning, right? So 7 o'clock in the morning out here, uh, we are at, let's see, 20, where am I? It's 7, this 10, 9. Okay, so 7 o'clock in the morning, we are at approximately... 1843. Yeah, 18, uh, we're almost at 1843. Now, watch what happens. You're at 1843. You're, you're at highs, okay? And then the next thing that I do, what's so cool about the gold market, folks, is that you can go to South Africa and the, the, the South African exchange, Johannesburg exchange, these are right there. I, I happen to have them on my platform anyway. And then I go to Harmony. Okay, so I'm going to pull up Harmony because I want to know, we're in a one-world market, and so people are buying and selling across the world on a continual basis, right? So I want to see, okay, we have gold up $13. Is the market buying Harmony and they're buying GFI? You know, they, they're two very large gold companies, folks. Are they buying them in South Africa? Well, when you get up there this morning, you'd say, okay, man, hold it. They're not buying these babies, in fact, you know, they're selling them down a little. Like, if you happen to be watching Harmony right now, Harmony's down 273 um, ticks. We're at 66.18. And that uh, bottom line is that that's rands, okay? So they, their dollars are rand. So you look at that and say, okay, man, hold it. You know, we have gold up. They're, they're not really buying the equities today. Well, then I go to then I, I turn around and I go to Goldfields to say, okay, are they not buying Goldfields either? I take a look at Goldfields and guess what? Bottom line, same type of setup. And that setup there, it's not that they're going down dramatically, but the bottom line is that you have gold up and they're not buying it. Then I go from there and I go over to the US dollar. And this is where this gets wild because Gold does. You have to get used to trading gold. Gold gets divergence quite a bit. So as you go over to the U.S. dollar, the bottom line is that when we take a look at this, what you're going to see inside of the U.S. dollar is that at 7 o'clock in the morning, that was already slipping to lower lows. So instead of just looking at the gold price, meaning how the futures trading, if you're trading the equities, which we trade, that is the beginning of your day. And then, of course, what you're going to do, you're going to go over to the GDX, because what, what does happen is this. You, at, from 7 o'clock to 9.30, you do not want to be trading uh, Barrick and Newmont. And the, the GDX you can trade because it's still liquid enough at that particular point, okay? And you can do, by the, by the way, you can do this at 9.30, too. Um, so, you go over to the GDX, and we take a look at the GDX, and what you're going to see, oh, I see what's going on. I don't have the GDX on this platform. I got it, but I don't have it on this platform. Okay. Anyway, at, at, at 7 o'clock this morning, the GDX was also down slightly. At 9.30, the GDX went from 36.14 uh, right down to 35.57 at about a heartbeat. Now, 
to me, that would totally make sense. And this is why, because is that we, we get a monster gap that's open. Um, each and every day, just because the gold contract is up, doesn't mean that all the equities are going to be up simultaneously. That's not how it works. That's one scenario. So that was the scenario out here today. Let me give you another scenario. And this, this scenario here happens to be, to me, one of the ultimate ones. And what it is, is this. We were talking a couple weeks ago, you had the huge divergence. And the divergence was, folks, that good old King Dollar was still going down dramatically and gold was going down dramatically. In fact, they were toasting and roasting gold. When you get something like that, the bottom line, at the beginning, I would just keep watching to see how this corresponds to it. There is an absolute direct relationship between where the dollar goes and where gold goes. And the last part of this is one of the biggest parts. And what it is is this. When I had just brought up the aspect of how the yen, okay, has gone down intraday today. The yen rules where gold is going. And when the yen gets stronger, and which a stronger yen would mean like right now we're at 103.93, if you go to 102, that's a much stronger yen. When that yen gets stronger, gold goes to the moon. Now, we have a really cool move out here right now. What has happened is that the yen's at 103.93. We take this, we bring this back, just put it back a couple years. And what happens is this, folks. Once you, you know, I'm giving you basically the fundamentals of what you should be looking at to trade these gold equities or trade the GDX. And you'll remember where these are in a second, okay? Because the, the currencies don't move around dramatically. Well, what's sticking out like a sore thumb in the yen is 101. 39, 101.19 that, you know, was generated out there in March. And guess what? We're, we're heading into that area. So bottom line, you know, take, take it for what it's worth. You can practice it um, and you can get an edge on the marketplace. You can get an edge on how you should be starting your day out. And just the beginning, just take your time and get used to it. Because what, you, what, you, what I love to see is this is that you have the dollar down dramatically. You have harmony up in South Africa. You have, and it only has to be up like 20 cents, you have gold fields up, and then you get the GDX is down like 50 cents. You get a beautiful trade, man. You just buy it there, you can almost sell it on the open. Cooking, it's a beautiful thing.